there guys, welcome back to Iceman Universe, and for today's reaction video, we're gonna watch episode 11 of Ed, Ed and Eddie season 5. Now, if you didn't watch my reaction to episode 10, well, we pretty much watched the worst episode of the entire show, thus being Smile for the Ed, because, I mean, seriously, everything about it was just straight up stupid and wrong, and Kevin, he officially solidified his position as the worst character of the entire show, and yes, I hate his guts so much that... He's way worse than, the, than than Jimmy and the dumb canker, so yeah. I hate Kevin, I no longer have any respect and sympathy for him. That's all I need to say about him. As for All Eds Are Off, like, I think I said that, you know, it was a really good episode and somewhat funny, but seriously, after witnessing the catastrophe of that episode, I'm definitely in need of a, like a, of an episode cleanser, if you put it that way, and, and I'm hoping this episode will be the case for it. So yeah, other than that, let's get the show on the road here. If you guys are enjoying my reaction series to Ed and Eddie though, and you want to support my YouTube channel for it, then please do so by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and ringing the bell to get notified for upcoming content. And if you want to watch my full length reaction series to Ed, Ed and Eddie on my Patreon page, as well as get a shout out at the start of every video I do, then please do so by clicking the link down in the description below and become a member today. Now with that being said, let's get this reaction started. This is episode 11 of Ed, Ed, and Eddie season 5. Run, Ed, run. I don't know why there's a chick involved. Another autumn day in the neighborhood to start off with. This is, this is Ed's house, isn't it? Oh, uh, they're... Like me, Eddie. Why are we inflating balloons at seven o'clock in the morning? Yeah, I was about to ask that. What else? Gotta be the size of sleeping bags if we're gonna clean house at the job breaker factory. Huh? I hope this isn't a repeat of last year's field trip while you and Ed get up to your usual skylark. Oh, they're going on a field trip or something? Me. Uh. <laughs> Here comes the Dippy Egg Express, big brother. What? <laughs> She's serving him toast dipped in egg. Wow. Bus monitor? Ed, since you're the bus monitor and all, and since I'm your cuddly, woodly baby sister, hold it! What? We need those front seats so we can get first dibs on those jawbreakers. Right, Ed? What? <sighs> so Fishface thinks he's gonna get the front seats. Oh, that, Sarah, oh, that's what she was gonna ask him for? Slippery weasel. Sarah, that's so devilish. I love it. The bus taking us to the Jawbreaker factory is scheduled to depart at 7.45 a.m. All right, oh. all right. Get off my back. So, I'm so, what's the purpose of these balloons? What is... Baby sister, are you okay? Where are you? Oh, oh, what? What the... What? What's going on? Bell, the sky, you idiot! It's falling! The sky is falling! Oh, brother. Promise me so that's her plan? Stay in the house where it's safe, got it? I promise, old brave little one, and inside we'll stay. Is everything alright? No, everything's not okay. I mean, yeah. I don't pretty much believe anything Sarah that says. better be getting ready noises I hear in there. Oh my... Eddie, why would you do that? Be able to cram like a zillion jawbreakers in here. Oh, he's doing that to expand his pants pockets. The sky is falling, Eddie! It hit me on the head. It did. You're probably just growing a brain lumpy. I'd be more inclined to believe something more substantial than the sky may have fallen on your head. Pockets! Pockets! We're gonna be late! Ed, just as this balloon is overflowing with weightless air, so is the sky. Up. Uh, <laughs> Double D. Curse this small statue of mine. Field trip! Here I come! Oh, wait for us, Eddie! Oh, hurry, Ed! Well, Ed, better get going. Oh, Johnny. Boy, sure hope we don't miss a field trip, Plank. Well, you're pretty oh, much hey, going Eddie, to. Can you help me and Plank? Cost you a quarter, Johnny. No. Hey, what the heck are you doing? What the? Uh, okay. Falling, Eddie. My dome room will protect us. Goldfish? Perhaps some tasty rations. There's enough to search stain three lives for. No food. Goldfish? Don't be playing fast with my foot. 
You can't eat jawbreakers if the sky kills you, Eddie! Ed, get your head out of your ass, will ya? Yeah! Oh no. Oh, it's not working. Oh, it is. Is it? Oh my gosh. What do you But desperate times call for desperate measures. Quickly, pass me that fan, please. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm surprised Double D was able to... I shouldn't be surprised Double D was able to make that very quickly. There's the bus. Let's hope they make it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I was... Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Eddie? Oh, he turned his arm into a lasso. What the? Oh. Have no fear, little one. Here, protect ourselves under these four shields. And... What the? Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait. Okay, they are going the right way. Oh no! Nope. Oh gosh. So that's the jawbreaker factory? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is getting good. Oh. This is impossible. Yeah, literally. The sky is falling. Thank you very much. <laughs> so now what? Uh oh. I'm we may just find out, Eddie. Oh gosh. Positively unequivocally fascinating. Oh wow. May I have a piece of tape, sir? Please. I'm sorry. This is so typical. A jawbreaker factory field trip, and I miss it because Ed had to go and break the stupid sky. I think I ate too many jawbreakers. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. <laughs> Is being devoured by the sky! One anomaly at a time, please. Thank you. Release my sister! Nemesis of Blue Yonder! How about sharing some of those jawbreakers with Uncle Eddie? Sarah, I don't feel so good. Oh boy. She's gonna blow! Uh oh. My lord! What the. Okay, uh, Town Called Ed. Well, let's hope this one's good too, because that last one was good. Alright, we're back in school. See you teaching. Hello, weekend. Oh. Saturday, Sunday, my day fun day. It looks as though all the required book titles for our all been signed out. You'll know what they say, Double D! What's that? Hey, guys. I just want to remind everybody. Well, almost every to come over to my place for the monster truck marathon tomorrow. Right on. Like oh wow! One in front of Kevin's TV is a you know what. Ralph will include himself once again to share in your menial customs and all the while wonder why. So, Cap, what time tomorrow does the shindig of yours start? Get a clue. I said almost everyone. <laughs> well, I hate you, dork. See you at the next thing we can go to, Kevin! Not inviting me over to watch monster trucks tomorrow! Honestly, Eddie, why would you care? You don't even like monster trucks. Oh, he doesn't? Hey, but wait! The lockers! How are you listening? 
Oh no 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 no! What the? Is that an old what book? I want, guys? Fort Peach Creek. Creek. Could it be? The book our history teacher thought would be impossible to find. That stupid thing almost killed me! A stroke of luck, I would say. Definitely enough information here to successfully complete our project. What? Oh, look at this. Someone's torn out a page. Yeah, yeah, big stink, Wordsworth. Oh, wow. Um, intriguing. And the book documents the earliest known settlement in Peach Creek, dating back to over 300 years ago. Ed! <laughs> Oh gosh, he's probably gonna get detention for that. Goodness, Eddie, look! Tell me, what do you see? It's a gaggle of Eddies. Oh my gosh! Those must be Eddie's long Eddie's relatives. Who led the first settlement here in over three centuries ago? Whoa! Eddie's a pedigree, Ed. Who would have thought? Let me see that, that's impressive. Thing. If your ancestors hadn't journeyed here with dreams of a new life, Peach Creek as we know it may never have come to be. So what you're saying is that if it weren't for my ancestors, we wouldn't be living here? Isn't it exciting? Maybe. <laughs> well, that's certainly got something Eddie hooked on. How we could incorporate this into our school project. Oh, you must Oops. be so proud of your deep-rooted lineage. Yeah. No. Ted, please. Yeah, just shut up, Ed. Oh gosh. What are they doing here? Good morrow, dearest neighbor. There is an important piece of our heritage living among us. Now, dust and joy in our beloved Peach Creek, if not for the kingdom of. Now I'll overlook neighbor Eddie, the direct descendant from those first pioneers, who made it possible for thine ancestors to cultivate a prosperous life here. Oh Please wow. Inquire at that Double D's garage for more information. <laughs> Oh jeez. Son fellows. I give them 10 seconds before they're all over here apologizing, kissing my feet for the years of not inviting me to stuff and behind my back. Oh, I doubt. What I tell you? Johnny's on his way over here right now. No, he's not. Yep, he's going to that loser's house. Uh. Outfits. Dorks. Dorks. Yeah! We're going on a bus. We're going on a bus. Yeah, I don't blame Eddie for feeling that way. Double D. Perhaps they just need some time to reflect on our illuminating leaflet. Time nothing. I've got a better way of grabbing their attention. Oh wow. Naz. Beer jam and power in a mud pit. Gotta love it, man. Would squash these puny doohickeys like the text that claimed to Victor's token. Lights got goosebumps on What the heck is he drinking? Oh boy. They killed the power. Go on, get in there. Oh. Um, good morrow, Tubi. I'm about to share the tale of Fort Peach Creek. Let us begin it. I hate public access. A long time ago, an Ah, can't do nothing now, douchebag. And savage beasts. I am a salvaged moose! <laughs> okay. Oh, regardless over the horizon, for the hero of our epic tale doth approach. I have come from afar and shall claim this wilderness as our own. Are Ed. Ye, oh, savage moose. Move it along or be turned to moose chop. You hear ye? <laughs> this one death is your land death, oh great short death one. <laughs> okay, now it's getting entertaining. Fuzzy fruit, and for this reason, I claim it this I... place, Fort Peach Creek. <laughs> and there you have it. It's oh, God. Oh, <laughs> and here is where my family's mansion once stood. It is now the home of one fat headed Kevin and his deadbeat, too good for everyone, pal. Yeah, you tell him, Eddie. What are you doing? To my calculations, <laughs> the living heir of every grain of dirt, you owe me 300 years worth of unpaid back rent. What do you think of that, you bunch of losers? Yeah. Oh, no. They're watching their stupid show in there, you idiot. He unplugged it. I did, Eddie. Yep. 
He did, but... Wait a minute. Huh? Oh no, it's the dump kinkers! It's not a Thanksgiving show, stupid! What are you talking about? I saw three of them! Oh look! It's their grandma! Please, a TV star! Girls, it's the turkeys! How the heck did you get that cable off of Kevin's roof? <laughs> <laughs> What's shaking, Dorkadaya? This turkey looks like it needs some basting! No! You should know that subjecting us to the usual amorous onslaught on Eddie's land is Eddie's land. You heard him. You guys need to brush up on your history. It's a missing page. What? And the entirety of the founder's land was signed over thusly to one who bested him in a gambling match. Lord Canker. Oh, no. The Canker's own Peach Creek? Say it ain't so. Uh, looks like we're owed some back rent, huh, girl? That's right. 300 years worth of smooching and wooching! History is so unkind! Ugh. Well, that ending sucked. Alright, guys, so that was episode 11 of Ed Ed Nettie Season 5, and, well, for starters, the obvious best segment of the two was Run Ed Run because I just like, I just thought it was really funny, you know, how the Eds were, you know, trying to catch up to the school bus only for them to miss it and, you know, not go to the Jawbreaker factory, but it was quite intriguing seeing that. The Eds actually, you know, slammed into the sky and actually legitimately caused it to fall. But, yeah, of course, it was just a dumb trick done by stupid Sarah and Jimmy just to keep them from going to the Jawbreaker factory. And, well, still, very entertaining nonetheless. But, as for a town called Ed, well, I had high hopes of this being a good episode as well. But, I mean, it did start off pretty well with, you know, the Eds finding out that Eddie's ancestors first, you know, came to Peach Creek. But... Yeah, they just they had to ruin the ending with you know find out that the kink that the dumb kinkers ancestors you know became owners of the land after that in a in a gambling situation. So so yeah, I think it's safe to call this episode like an okay one because yeah, it's not terrible, but still, I would definitely prefer this episode over Smell for the Ed any day of the week. Period. But um yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this episode. So. That is going to be it for this episode reaction. If you guys did enjoy this so much and you want to see more Ed Ed Eddie reactions on my YouTube channel, then please show your support for the channel by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and commenting down below what you thought of the episode. And if you want to watch my full length reaction series to Ed Ed and Eddie on my Patreon page, like I said at the start of the video, then please do click the link down in the description below and become a member today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.